Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something really like touchy and sensitive. If you are someone who is touchy and sensitive like I am, I think you will really relate to this. I think it's an, I don't know, I don't think I could be an artist without this uh, quality. I don't know if it's a quality, but this uh, characteristic. Characteristic. Did I see it right? <laughs> anyway characteristic so well you know that do you know that have you guys watched the episode where michael and um pam so pam has this is the office i'm talking about the off the office it's the best show ever have you guys seen this episode where basically um pam has this art show and michael comes to this art show and like she has like six different sketches. Uh, one of the sketches, one of the sketches, I think they're watercolor. They're very, I would say they're very basic. They're very up to the point. They're very like, you know, they're photographs that you are painting, but there's nothing wrong with that. I do it too. So um, I'm just describing to you what they are in case you haven't seen the show, in case you haven't, if you don't remember that episode, I'm sure the whole world has seen the show. Pam is basically like she has this one image with the office, um, the office building, uh, the building where they work at. Just by the way, I went, my brother surprised me and I went and I saw that building. It is in LA, it's not Pennsylvania, but obviously. So basically in that image, um, so Michael comes and visits her, right? So she has all these other all these other people coming and viewing her artwork. People are, you know, some people are dissing it, some people are just acknowledging it. But Michael comes and so she's just, so she is very obviously a very sensitive person and she cares about what people think. Um, I don't know, I feel like everybody in the world cares about what people think, but sensitive people are take it to another level. It doesn't mean like we're shy or anything it just means we are touchy so i think so basically michael comes and sees her work right i'm gonna get to the point and then he says he asks where the price of that that office uh i don't know why i keep doing this but the image of the office so he's like where's the price i don't see the price and it just sounds like he wants to buy it which you know immediately like if you see pam's emotions are very very subtle but very beautifully subtle very evident you can see her it's like she she lives that role like she she plays like throughout the office she she just she's such a good actress and like you can see the way her emotions um her reactions are very strong and it's very natural it's not like she's putting it on because she's you know in front of a camera uh so basically he's like where's the price right and she's like like you know like do you want to like she's like oh my god like she's excited that he's he wants to perhaps buy it and the reason he wants to buy it is because you know he appreciates the artwork but really like michael loves he's very passionate about the office he doesn't like it when anybody or anything anybody puts the office down or his people he's like he's very consistent when it comes to loving his work well he doesn't work but loving the office and everything about it so um it's very nice to see that passion like he lives to be um loved but he, he looks for love throughout the uh season but really like he finds um that kind of compassion from from the people in the office from you know that becomes his family anyway so um so he sees that image of the office and you know obviously he thinks Pam did a good job but she did and he wants to buy it but like I think the most important my well my point is how Pam reacts she's very very like you know immediately she's like she hugs him and these are all like I, I could just instantly relate and she, like she kind of like tears up it's like it's so it's so it's such a beautiful moment I don't know I'm sure all artists can relate to this but it's basically you know when someone you know can relate to your work or can like 
is able to you know show like a positive reaction like as much as i'm all in for art group critiques you know um like getting feedback about my work i love criticism because it helps me grow but we cannot deny that when someone loves your work and you know they're moved by your work you are also instantly um moved you know you're so happy like i can just like like honestly i'm tearing up thinking about it but it's that it's that honest reaction um but like um oh my god i'm actually tearing up but i think it's a very important uh trait anyway so i am also an easy crier <laughs> ask anyone who knows me but but anyway just uh so just talking about this i think the most important thing is that um you love what you do and um when someone shows a positive reaction towards your work you start loving them too <laughs> you love your work even more and then you start seeing all these other um but like when you start seeing why someone loved your work that's also an interesting way of you know um learning to grow you know okay maybe you can do more of that or maybe you can think along those lines um make make something different but maybe something based on that it could be just anything but i'm just saying like you can so there is art for art sake where you're just making art for the heck of making art right but there's also art that you're thinking about oh for an, from an audience perspective if you are someone who like shares your work on social media you are trying to, which i do constantly <laughs> sorry i had to shift a little bit because i saw this little millipede or something anyway if you are someone who posts on social media constantly you are trying to see what people how people react to it um on along what what kind of audience are you attracting you know um you start thinking differently and you are also like trying to sell your work which is what most people like a lot of people want to post to you know sell their work that's real i do that for sure but um but yeah i do want to share my work with the world because i do want to um understand how people think too well i'm not when i'm making art in my studio i'm not like making it thinking oh um this is how this person is going to react and this is what this person likes i'm definitely like especially as an abstract artist i am throwing my soul out there so like i cannot i like it it doesn't work like that for me at all i can do that i can't um make art that is obviously going to please someone um i'm only making art that is from my heart so whether you can relate to it or like it that's up to you i'm not forcing anyone to like anything i'm just saying when like how pam again going back to pam and how she felt i have definitely felt like that and i'm not like i'm not going to lie i love it when someone can relate to my work or is moved in some way it doesn't have to you know be like the most magical moment but it's just that that emotional reaction it's like you throw your emotions out there and then someone is feeling emotional about it i like i'm like i'm happy when that happens if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen <laughs> i just love that um that little moment in the office like it's just something i always think about like when you watch the show there's so many there are obviously like so many different funny moments like as an artist you're like i'm watching pam the entire time especially she's trying to you know be an artist she goes to art school she fails art school she comes back but there are people who are still also dwight makes fun of it failing art school and everything but jim believes in her she's still you know trying to make art um she is granted that mural every time she gets an opportunity i'm like happy for her because i understand the struggle i think the most important thing is for you to just keep making work making work as an artist it's definitely going to like at least people someone's going to appreciate the hard work someone's going to appreciate all the time you're putting in all the um you know just not the fact that you're not quitting is going to pay off okay um i'm definitely at that point where i'm just trying to work hard hopefully someday it pays off <laughs> anyway so 
it's very easy like life can be just like your life can be going like this and then all of a sudden it like goes like that and then goes up it's just a weird analogy but like um it's, okay it's not really an analogy but um anything can happen but i think like if you have like i'm a very goal oriented person and this is my goal and if life is going like this and like this and instead i just wanted to go like this i think the fact that life is going like this and this and like distracting my goal but i feel like this is helping my art so it's very contradicting i'm happy that this is happening because I, i'm getting all these different emotions um instead of just consistency it would be easier obviously if like life is consistent but everybody goes through ups goes through ups and downs in life i'm just saying like don't quit <laughs> if you haven't seen the show definitely watch the office it's like it's like an amazing amazing <laughs> show and we used to if you're going through like a bad time or whatever it's great to watch the show It'll absolutely just let go of all your worries and uh you know just shovel it away <laughs> yeah definitely watch the office if you're an artist i'm sure every artist relates to pam whether your art is similar to hers or not you just relate to her as an artist like even little moments like the whole michael moment with pam will happen and will give you that push to keep on going just keep on going and like i i don't know if like people know how they impact artists as much as you say that you don't care about what people think about your art or your or you like even just as a human being it really helps like even if you're that person who like doesn't care and like you know just thinks differently whatever like just that little um positive approach the the whole uh, just a little like positive push that someone else gives you really impacts like it can really be severely impactful it can really help in ways that that person who gave that push like cannot imagine if like i always think about all those people who have given me that positive um the little positive push and how they have no idea how much that actually like makes me go makes me push myself even further honestly thank you to all of you who have done that for me just from the bottom of my heart if i haven't said it to you maybe i just not the person who easily sh like expresses my feelings through my words when i'm around that person or whatever so i'm telling you through this video on youtube and this public platform thank you very much because um it's really really helped me and it will always help me so keep doing this keep doing it um it will just make me feel more secure and more uh you know i got this kind of anyway please do watch the office if you haven't hope everyone's safe and stay at home even though i know people are coming out just just stay at home guys okay <laughs> anyway bye guys do subscribe if you enjoy this video and if you enjoy me talking <laughs> or uh my art or anything um i am like an art educator so you will be getting a whole bunch of artsy facts artistic facts so um do stay tuned